Hello everyone, I'm Baruffy1322 and welcome to another episode of the Choking Hazard Podcast, episode 87, I think it is this time. This video is brought to you by the join page of my website. If you want more info on how to join races or other events we do on streams, head to bruffycom slash join. With my usual co-host, Snoss is over there. <laughs> Where I am. Just the salute. Uh, <laughs> hey, just the salute. Uh, RDT is right there. And Hi. Josh is over in the corner. Hello. We also got Hammer in the booth. Hello. On the ones and twos. Hey. And uh, yeah, it, it's been, what, like two months since the, uh, the last show? Um, Something like that, yeah. yeah yes, be... everyone's probably forgotten that we do this podcast. This is probably a surprise to everyone. I'd forgotten that. I mean, I'll be <laughs> honest. Like. Uh, so, I mean, do we, we do have some things to talk about, but nothing in particular in terms of, like, what's been going on in our lives over the last two months. Like, does anyone have any updates of, of anything, or are we just... Wait, we didn't do a February show? We didn't. No, we cancelled oh. it. <laughs> so... Okay. <laughs> I'm I mean, losing track of everything. RDT's hungover, by the way. I'm going to put it out there for everybody oh, yeah, to know. Yeah. yeah, this and I haven't slept in like ever. So, so, the, so we're running on like empty for you guys at least. Well, yeah, I got up at like working hours usually on a Saturday just to jump on and do this. Wait, is it, it's four only hours part. It, what time is it for you now? Ten. It's, 10 o'clock what which means exactly. i have to wake up at like oh, 8 30 yeah. to get to the pre-show at 9 30 <laughs> which anybody watching this this is within the first two minutes so i think people are actually going to listen to this a little bit go watch the pre-show it's got some good stuff going on in there but yeah so i'm waking up at normal working hours i had an alarm clock on a saturday and i'm a little frustrated about that. <laughs> <laughs> well isn't this the normal time for for the podcast for you guys because it's one hour earlier for me josh and hammer because of daylight saving like isn't it isn't it doesn't that mean it? that it's the same time for you as normal because you've had your daylight saving savings time change but we haven't yet i thought we yes. always did it like an hour later i don't know i mean nos you're the other american know, is this no, is this normal uh, time uh, for you uh, yeah this is normal time go oh my god i hate him go away <laughs> I hate, I hate. What? I hate you. I hate you. just pulled you. a leopard out of nowhere. <laughs> he just pulls a cat from under his desk. <laughs> he, he's all over everything that I love and care for. I hate him. His name is Butter and I hate him. Butter? <laughs> yes, his name is Butter. <laughs> Great magic trick. <laughs> he, was, he was climbing all over the top of my computer. Okay. I mean, well, what a chaotic start to this podcast we've had so far. Um, yeah, the, the pre-show, for those who don't know, we have the podcast channel that this podcast used to be uploaded to until I moved it back to the main channel. Um, but the podcast channel has the pre-show getting uploaded there every every month before the, the main video goes live on YouTube. So, yeah, check out the pre-shows and the podcast channel. It's always linked in the description and whatnot. Josh might have been playing some San Andreas in this one. Oh, I don't say that. No, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so, has anything actually been going on apart from RDT going to more parties and getting drunk? All right, like, again, like why you got to put my business out there, <laughs> homie? <laughs> Jeez, man, wish it were me, bro. <laughs> What's been uh, happening in our lives? I got a promotion at work. Well, congratulations! Oh, That's nice. cool. I'm a senior manager now. Senior manager. Senior manager. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. So you're managing the managers. What does that mean? I don't manage anybody. <laughs> I don't know why I even have that title. It's just a fake corporate title for yeah, a fake corporate really job in a fake building. <laughs> Nothing's real. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Nos? Nothing going on? Uh uh, I'm I am currently crashing and burning from burnout at the moment from work. Pizza so boy burnout. Probably, yeah, I'm 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 
I, I'm not going to gripe about it on on the podcast. <laughs> that would be that would be a waste of everyone's time. So we you just go watch previous episodes. It's all in. It's all, I guess it's, it's all the same stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been the same for like five years. So. <laughs> and what about you, Josh? You've been you've been here, there, and everywhere. I feel. I've been really busy the last few weeks. Yeah, I've. I mean, this morning alone, I woke up at four a.m. to watch F one, and then and then I've done a stream, like a whole this stream before this, and video editing. I went, oh yeah, no, I woke up at four a.m., watched F one, went shopping, cleaned the kitchen, shopping. did the whole stream, then I'm now I'm here. Damn, wow. that's a busy day. Yeah, it's, uh, it's only two. We're like halfway through the day. <laughs> Jeez. That is a long day. I kind of like days like that, though, where you wake up super early for some other reason, and then you just get a load of stuff done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I feel he's shaking so his far. head. No. No, yeah, I am not sat here like, I had to wake up at 8.30, <laughs> oh my god. I am not a morning person whatsoever. <laughs> I didn't uh, used to be when I was younger, but I am I am now. I get up at 7.30 I'm 29. Like every day. <laughs> well, yeah, you should have grown out of it by now. You can know, sort it out. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what's I'm, going yeah, on I'm with me as well? By the way, I've got I've got not much to to um, report. I can't. Uh, I will have awesome. next okay. next next month. But oh god! So okay, in the pre-show, I looked at the <laughs> podcast document and I said, "Ha, huh, there's all of these things are about Josh and not about much else." And then Bruffy said, "Oh, no, it's fine. The what we've been getting up to section. It's that could be like either five minutes or an hour, and it's been five minutes." <laughs> yes. So, yes. <laughs> It's been five so, minutes. I can turn just... it into an hour, but no one wants to hear me. So <laughs> no one wants to hear me complain. So, oh god. Well, obviously, it's just going to be a super short podcast, then. You know, we'll just. We'll That's good. I got a birthday party to get to. So. Another party for IDT. <laughs> He's got stuff to places to be, you know, people to see, places to go. Uh, I've got to. I've got to stream. Be. I'm doing a stream. That, that's something. It feels like Sunday for me today uh, because I'm. I've moved all of my streams a day early this weekend. So my Saturday morning stream I did yesterday on Friday, and now right. my Sunday evening stream I'm doing today after the podcast because it's Xerxes' birthday tomorrow. So I thought I'd have uh, the day completely uh, free. Um, so. Yeah, it's weird. It feels like a Sunday for me. It feels it feels like we're doing a podcast on a Sunday, which isn't right. It's always been yeah. a Sunday. I was I was confused yesterday when you were streaming iRacing at the same time as me. I was just like, wait, this doesn't. Oh yeah. I was trying to poach yeah. my views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, no, it was just confusing. I, I don't know what it, I I thought about stream sniping you, but you were driving the Toyota, and I couldn't be asked to learn it. So. <laughs> What's I uh, I, I did because I, I think it was it was just as I was about to start the third race yesterday and, and bloody squirrels in my chat said wait it, Josh is uh, also streaming iRacing, racing and I, I had no idea so I was like oh I, I was almost <laughs> gonna tell you to just jump into my race but yeah sounds like you weren't up for that anyway <laughs> oh I was having a miserable time in F four instead should we just. Should we just I talk racing. about iRacing now? Like, not <laughs> racing. You're supposed to do it alone. I did my first open wheel race on iRacing yesterday. Oh, did in you? Okay. Well, 1600, so whatever it is. Uh, Formula 1600. Oh, the, the Fords. The Formula yeah, Fords. Yeah. That was an experience. Yeah. Because they're so grippy, <laughs> but can... then lose grip immediately. What? Like, they're so easy to lose the car, but... You can throw the, throw them around corners with so much grip, but then I, I must have spun like two or three times during the race, and other people were doing the same thing. And this is in like the top split of it, I think. Huh. I don't think I've driven the Formula Ford much. Yeah, okay, I'll have to try it. They've got that no rear weird. wing, so they're like, yeah, well, back end sure. All over. Yeah, okay. How's your um, enjoyment of motorsport coming on RDT? You know, with your with your um, lady friend being into it, and and you now being into it because of that. Well, so the first couple of races we have, we've been keeping track of the results pretty much. But since they're overseas and like the Middle East, now they're in Australia, right? This weekend, yeah. We're kind of not keeping up. Once they start moving westward, maybe towards the United States, I think we'll start catching them. Plus. Um, she works in like taxes, so she's working on Saturday mornings anyway. So, and I don't want to watch them without her. Oh, okay. Uh, 
but yeah, I mean, seems like everything is just picking up where it left off last season for <laughs> for Red Bull. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. You, you haven't missed much by not watching them. To be fair, yeah. But, <laughs> RDT you know. really looking like he's holding on for dear life, trying to keep focused on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know my brain is just scrambled eggs right now. Ruffy was saying it's really grippy, and I just started dying inside. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it do be really grippy, though. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you know, if if nothing's going on in your lives, we're just going to obviously default to talking about racing and motorsport. That's that's basically my life at this point with GTA. I've got nothing else. My condolences. My I know, condolences. I know, right? I've got nothing else going on. You know, as much as I hate being a pizza boy, I would not go back to doing the weekly racing playlist every day, <laughs> like, <laughs> ever again. <laughs> like, oh, oh keep... my God, I was even more miserable back then. It's all just a train of misery. <laughs> you, you, so you, you're saying that you're happy that you're not uh, regularly streaming? Uh, GTA Racing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, GTA Okay, yeah, that's fair. I'm good for one GTA 5 race every month, and that's enough to satisfy me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've got to say, I- I've been really hit at my wit's end with G-Fred lately, this- these last few months. like I Finally, I've, after yeah, a decade! <laughs> I-, I have mentioned it on multiple occasions, how I'm-, I'm getting to the point of hating it as much as Nos does. <laughs> 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 oh, RDT's got the shades. You know what? It's going to help you. I'm probably pretty sure. I, I do actually feel a lot better right now. <laughs> G Fred is cancelled oh, finally. Yeah. yeah, it's um, it's been a it's been a it's been a journey. So yeah, once you it? once you sigh, uh, give a sigh of relief because you're doing uh, Durf G instead of G Fred, you know it's over. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah, oh, this is such a different and varied race. I'm so excited <laughs> for Durf G. Yeah, it's like, it's like you know, it's you're cooked, bro. Yeah, you're just it. over. <laughs> it's over. Burnt out, big time. Yeah, we've got no yeah, more G friends after today for a while. Are so. both of us just burnt out for completely different reasons? Or we? Are I we... guess so. Man. I feel yeah, I feel super burnt out from from G Fred especially. GTA so a little bit as well. I, I'm having the complete opposite happen to me at the moment, where I'm like I'm so busy doing so many other things. Like my my schedule and everything is so mixed right now. As um, in like yeah, not just awesome. San Andreas speedrunning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing loads of other stuff. Like not I mean it's still like that's still like the main thing, obviously, but yeah, everything is so mixed up. I've been doing so much eye racing. I've been doing like different categories in SA. I've been traveling to events to do SA. I've been doing lots of different things in SA. There's loads of like mods and stuff happening though. I mean, it's interesting and being worked on. Like four out of the five things you just listed, they were all San Andreas. It's okay, like sure, me saying, like, "Oh, I'm going to traveling right? to different events to do G Fred. I'm doing G Fred variations. I'm <laughs> doing Dev G one time." I- Sure, but it's like they're not all G Fred. It's all as if you were doing GTA Five. It's like you were doing. It's like if you were doing GTA Five role play and GTA Five racing and like GTA Five speed running. They're like different things. I don't know, man. Well, bro, I mean, just... I would feel a lot much better about doing the thing I might be burnt out on if I had a whole room of people clapping for me whenever I whenever I blow up Ryder's car. You know, like like I would feel a lot better about myself. You know, I would help the burnout. So. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah, I do like. For me, it's like the events, the the speed running events. It's like a season. It's like I submit to an event. If I get accepted, I'll then like in the lead up to it, practice the thing for it, and I have like a reason to be practicing it and getting good at it. And then yeah, and then I do the run at the event, and that's like the climax of the end. And then I reset, and then that makes sense. Different, that, then it's like event. it gives you a purpose for do. You're not just aimlessly doing the same thing every single yeah. week all the time. At the end of a stream, yeah. always the same, and never getting anywhere with it, and hating <laughs> everything about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I was that a few years ago. Yeah, but yeah it is different. But yeah, we, no, we G-Fred also just... with a live audience <laughs> would be solid. Yeah. <laughs> Where is G Fred in GTA San Andreas? That's what I want to know. Oh, is, well, because okay, can you okay. do that? I mean, okay, well, Josh did one once <laughs> in in five, right? Not in 
essay? No, you, oh, you did that that no, no, game no, no, yes. mode that was like yes, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone had to design your own mission. Yeah, Dwom. Someone someone made their own mission that was a G Fred. Yes, that's right. I I played a Bruffy <laughs> reference mission before I played a Joshmas reference mission. <laughs> that was what happened. <laughs> What did you yeah, do? we wait, just um, wait a second. <laughs> it's like a mod, right, for San Andreas, where people design their own missions. Yeah, and, yeah, and like you were playing design... them at random or something. Did you say design your own mission and then call it Dwarms? Oh yes, the classic. Yes, I, I, for some reason I say it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like Dwarm. Yeah, but yeah. No, we just launched. We just relaunched our MTA server. Like a, we've oh, had yeah, like a. It. We've had a uh, so like a multiplayer mod for San Andreas, and there's been like a speedrunners server on and off since 2013. Uh, we just relaunched that again, so it's kind of it's basically 5M but for GTA San Andreas, and San Andreas doesn't have multiplayer natively, so it's everyone plays it right. Um, okay, yeah, we've got a race server that, on there. But... If, you, if you get sick of GTA 5 racing, bro, you can come do <laughs> San Andreas racing instead. <laughs> if you want it on our server. I mean, of all of the um, all of the previous games that I've played so far, in my like going back through all of the GTA games playthroughs, San Andreas is the one that I would not want to drive in the most. <laughs> like, really? Of really? all of the all of the um, the car handling characteristics of each of the games, San Andreas is the one that I've liked the least. Really? really? I like San Andreas's car handling. It's not that bad. I really do not. Well, which you one's like, better then? You don't like the I like Vice, Vice City's good. I mean, GTA Three's better. Like, I, I just there's something about San Andreas's car handling that I just do not like. Huh? That's so where do you put four on that list? Oh, I like four. I'd put four high, you like, like four just behind that, five. That's... That's so weird because to me it's like free and VC are like sort of the same, and then yeah, like yeah. arcade, and then San Andreas is like a step more towards realism, and then GTA Four is a step more towards realism, and then <laughs> GTA, <laughs> and then GTA Five is like a step back. Yeah. I would say Five and SA are kind of similar, even. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, is all that I why can you hate score, it, maybe? all I maybe, <laughs> all I can say based on my it's based on what I was feeling as I was playing those games, and you know I enjoyed three and Vice City the driving in it. Once I got back into the whole three D style driving, uh, era style driving, but like then mm -hmm. I got to San Andreas and I just I did not like it. It was I, I don't I can't. I think the cars were like more slidey or more difficult to control. It, it just it felt off. Something about it felt off in terms of I, I didn't have the control of the cars that I had just experienced in the previous two games. Just yeah, didn't like I mean, it. sure. Huh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, I and I crashed a lot three... more in San Andreas than in, in the other two. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Three and Vice City are like so planted, and like Josh said, arcadey. It's just mm -hmm. yeah. point and go. Scream skill issue. <laughs> yeah, it I think a it's, little. It's, I it's probably also that you've got like I, I'd gotten used to three and Vice City, and then going to something yeah. that was quite different with San Andreas. When I feel like it didn't necessarily need to be. They could I'm have trying just to remember what 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 were like reviews and stuff at the time. Like, were people complaining about SA? Car oh, physics I don't think at the so. Time. I think it got like no. full marks on everything, didn't it? When, when it, yeah. was, it came out. Yeah, SA is. I mean, SA is the best-selling PS2 game ever by yeah. like a huge margin. So, hmm. Um, but okay. like, I'll probably by once once I've finished all of the games, I'll you know probably do a rundown of all of them and give a list of what I thought my tier favorites list. were. And Let's whatnot. go. Yeah, tier <laughs> list of all the GTA games. Have I'm you done Vice City stories yet? Or that's have you next. Just... That's starting. Oh, I gotta watch it. Yeah, uh, when every Wednesday stream in April will be Vice City stories. All right. Oh, you played Liberty City stories? Yeah, I played Liberty City stories. Uh, what did you think of that one? I enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it as much as GTA Three, for example, or Vice City, but uh -huh. it was it was fine. It wasn't. There was okay. nothing memorable about it. I don't think it was more of a like. Yes. Oh, it's cool to go back to this place with different, like, with bikes and. With the, the the tunnel not there and the you know the boat going across and like the little differences as that you get from a prequel, but the only thing that I remembered from it when I played it back on the PSP was the final mission on the lighthouse 
and that is that remains the only thing that I can remember about it now that I've played it like a month ago, two months ago, yeah. or whatever. It, it just wasn't that memorable. Yeah, that's how I think as well. I pl- I played through it when it came out on mobile, but like I, I mean, I knew it was going to be jank. What the f- butter? <laughs> I'm sorry. He just jumped on top of my fridge, dude. He's about to. He, dude, he's about to get kicked out, bro. He's he's, he's his days in here. Oh. Are numbered, dude. Um. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. I just Liberty City stories was just so yeah forgettable. I don't remember anything either. Yeah. Yeah. The story but, wasn't but, that like in, in, engrossing in a way. I think just mm. you know. Well, I hope you enjoy wasn't. Vice City stories because it is mine and a lot of other people's favorite. Like of it's, any it's of the excellent. 3D ones. It's yeah, excellent. yeah. It I seems like Vice City excellent. Stories comes highly rated as like mm. the best of the 3D era games. So, yeah. Well, uh, it's the final 3D era, and game, it's the last so one. Like, yeah. They they learned. Yeah. yeah, they learned everything that they learned throughout all of them. They kind of just smushed it into one video oh. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, it's going to be good. But I, I did play it on the PSP back in the day. But the, again, the only thing I can remember of it was the Phil Collins um, <laughs> concert at one point in yeah. the in the game. That's yeah. all I remember of it. So, huh? And then it'll be more mobile games with GTA Advance and GTA Chinatown Wars. And then I'll do oh. GTA Four. I've five. heard Chinatown Wars is, is good. I've never played it. But Wait, it's meant to be good. Are you not? chronological ordering them then i have been in terms of the release order um yeah but i know that like i want to do now that i've started with like the the mobile version mobile port kind of games uh, advance would be after vice city stories and then i've just decided look let's do chinatown wars get those done and then we're back with four but, and then five but advance is on game boy advance yeah, I'm gonna to have to figure out. I think I've downloaded it already. Yeah, well, I mean that should have been like that should have been. Like, yeah, but it came oh. out after Vice City Stories, so I've I've done it in the order that no they were way. released. What? No, a no PSP, way. a Game Boy Advance game did not come out after PSP. What? Surely not. Did I it? Just found my Game Boy Advance. Oh, you and did? Auto oh no, did it come out the game? same day as San Andreas? Actually, maybe I'm getting. It mixed came out up. in 2004. Yeah. Yeah, same day as SA. Uh, yeah. I okay, I've got mixed up. I think the, yeah. the my 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 thought process was better to do the prequels straight after the main games sure, rather yeah, than okay. take a break for you know this this random GTA a Game Boy Advance game and then go back to the pre like just get them you know, group them together in a way. I mean, yeah. I mean, Advance is terrible, right? So yeah, it, it's, it's, it it's probably all. not going to be getting to the end of it. It would just be like some sort of exploratory playthrough. I'll just yeah. have a look around a little bit and then that'll be it sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Chinatown Wars is meant to be good though, so I'm looking forward to that. I remember there was one time I was doing tech for GTA Marathon. So I was like running the the, the marathon, the speedrun marathon stream online and I had to I was I had to stay up at like, it was like f- 2 or 3 a.m. or something and the run that was on at that time was GTA Advance and I've never felt more like a struggle to stay awake than watching a GTA <laughs> Advance speedrun. Oh it's really? Horrific. <laughs> yeah it was horrible. Even speedrunning like, can't save it that says something. <laughs> <laughs> like, even the runner is doing like a good job at everything but just the game is just like I could not watch it it was so hard but I had nothing else to do. Like, <laughs> oh god okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that then. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I am geez. looking forward to GTA 4 though. It's been a long time since GTA 4 and I'm, I'm looking forward to going back and I think Nico's probably one of my T-Lab favorite characters. Bow the Gate Tony as well. Yeah, I'll do the the episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are good. I like those. Nas. Yes. What the hell happened to the couch? What do you mean? Where is it? What What do you mean? It's right there. No, the cow couch. Oh, the oh yeah, it's uh, we got rid of it. I don't have an office anymore. This is my living room. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh. RDT's oh, distraught. Uh, RDT would have bought that couch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think we lost him. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The shock was too much. Oh, no, it's, the... it's knocked <laughs> him off completely. You've, you've I hope it wasn't. I hope it wasn't butter. Oh, that would be butter taking out the internet, won't it? <laughs> pulling out the internet cable. He's gonna come back so pissed. Oh no! 
When I didn't know, I forgot about the cow couch. Uh, when did they get rid of that? Did, I don't know. In, I'm just on a different plane of existence right now. I'm just noticing <laughs> things. What I'm did you like, take last night? I'm hearing <laughs> colors and seeing sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, going back to the handling issues of like GTA, I th- I think the best handling for a new game would be somewhere in between GTA Four and GTA Five. I agree that Five went a bit too more arcadey, and I liked mm. Four, but Four was also a little bit too the other way. Like something in the middle would be would be good. Mm. We'll see what, what are um, do. what are, what are the later cars of GTA Online like? They're more, arc- they're more planted and stuff, right? Uh they're just different like, like they're like then like no they 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 don't just only release planted grippy cars there's still some that get released that are uh you know have a lack of grip yeah okay okay all right so yeah i guess we can't really gleam what gta 6 physics will be like no. of, i can't imagine it'll be too different to like yeah, later online cars i'm not sure yeah i mean <laughs> as long as they don't have all the advanced flags in gta 6 we'll be all right i mean hello <laughs> Are you Hello? back? What up? Please I, tell um, me butter killed your computer. I wish I could, but no. I, <laughs> oh. It just my internet died for no reason. Oh. No, actually, actually, no. I take it back. It is butter's fault. I'm just gonna blame. <laughs> you can't retroactively blame the cat. <laughs> sure, I can. Watch me. It's butter's fault. There, I did it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I need to do a new link for your oh, camera now. Uh, we'll we'll get Nos back shortly. So so what were you saying about the, there was something you were talking about the the cow couch? How long has it been since you haven't had it? If, if we just not noticed uh, it and RDT cared about it enough to notice? Yeah, well, I, I mean, it's been since October, I guess. Really? Since, okay. Since I, since I moved in here, yeah, yeah. This Jeez. is my living room. I actually I actually just finished like furnishing the whole house with like decorations. I, I did that while uh, Cassandra was gone to Minnesota to see her family. So I guess like I never, the whole week, uh, I never really paid never too really much attention to your, yeah, like to, to your but I was like, chat. damn, Nas has throw pillows. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. What twenty-six-year-old so, man has throw pillows? That's crazy. So is, I, I guess I do. So is it like, uh, is it pointing towards the TV, all the sofa and stuff? Yeah, yeah. The here. Um, Oh god! Oh no! House I'm gonna house tour, baby. Uh, house tour. <laughs> I mean, okay, that, we... that'll be that'll be really involved. To so like, show yeah, like, really. you the whole house. Yeah, we, we did see it a little MTV bit when you grid. first moved in, but I don't know whether things have changed since then. But you you did get shows on like one of your other cameras, like how you had things set up. But it might have changed. Yeah, here yeah, let's see. Camera still <laughs> still doing things. Let's... Let's, let's I thought that was another cat. Things <laughs> <laughs> just keep pulling him out of nowhere. Hold on, let me. Oh, let's see oh no! Here. What have I done? Hold on, it's gonna be fine. Oh no! It's gonna be. Oh, fine. This is not a good segment for the listeners who the people who listen no. on like whatever podcast provider. Oh hey, there you go. Oh there you go. That's oh, the sick. one we've yeah, seen so, before. I'm sure. Yes, yeah. yeah. So there's the there's the room camera, right? This one's kind of creepy. So, wow, why is it creepy? What do you mean? It feels voyeurish. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, fair. Yeah, it looks like a fucking security camera. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I see what you say. I see. Oh, wait, no, that's... That's that's my, that's my <laughs> oh, that's that's whoops, hold on. No, the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> is it this one? Yeah. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's here's my here's my other camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's, okay. Hold on. Focus. There's my kitchen. There's there's some there's some artwork in the kitchen. So that is that is gas by Edward Hopper. And then there's stuff in there. There's my laundry room. There's my kitchen's a little bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, and then here's the living room there. So as you can see. So yeah. And then the Very TV obvious. is in front of the, the the couch, so yeah. Okay, makes sense. Cool. So, and, then I, <laughs> and then I've got I, I got a new I got a new bedroom set. Um, you know, like a month ago, it's pretty nice. Yeah. So, got a, I got a king size bed now. That's pretty cool. You, so right, you're, you're right. basically you know you're becoming an adult. You know, you're starting to get excited Dude, about too... house things and, and Dude, bedroom yeah. sets. 
Yeah, perks of having your PC next to your kitchen. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, my my setup is eccentric, but it, it, I think it, <laughs> I think it it works quite well. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. it. I've I've done the best I possibly can with a two bed one bath mobile home. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, it looks good. It looks good. It's more than I got. One else. That's that's most of the stuff I have on display, other than my my bedroom. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take you into my bedroom. I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I know y'all well enough, but not not the chat. So, <laughs> talker. You, know, you might be able to bring me in there. Um, I mean, we'll have to yeah. sleep somewhere when we do. You know, the the American version of a road trip. Yeah, and I have a get. I have a get. Yeah, I have a. Okay. We can all get I, in. <laughs> yeah. I have a like guy. Yeah, we could all we could all fit in in this bed. It's I have to wake up five minutes earlier just to get like to the edge <laughs> of the bed and get out. That's how big it is. So I'd love a king size bed. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's 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 pretty good. I have a guest bedroom now, so so y'all anyone will have a place to stay. So it's pretty good. Sweet. Oh, I mean, I I'm already I'm doing so much traveling this year. That's just. This just seems to be the year of travel for me. I'm going to every single little tiny small speedrun marathon I can. I'm going to Magicon Amsterdam. I'm going to Ireland just for the fuck of it. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm doing so much travel. Just put me in coach. I'll do the fucking America tour. Let's go. Where, if, um... if, you, if you want to come see me, just get the flight and I will pick you up and you can borrow one of my cars and you could just go adventure in Alabama. <laughs> just drive yes. around Alabama. Yeah, yeah top fun. down. It's getting the summertime. I'll, I'll put you in an what's, MX-5. What's the closest F1 track to you? No. <laughs> there is no... There, there It'd is be none. Texas, won't it? In Texas yeah, somewhere close? That's not close at all. That's, no. that's, that's so not far close away. at all. Okay, I, I don't know. You could go I'm to happy. Barber Motorsports Park if you like IndyCar. Um, I would love to go okay. see an IndyCar race. Didn't well, come on. Miami, did Miami have an F1? Yeah, Miami has. I feel like Miami might be closer. Are you than closer Texas. to Miami than you are Texas? I don't know where anything yeah, is in the US. Maybe. I, Not well, close, but closer. It looks closer. It depends where in Texas, because Texas is huge, right? Like, yeah. Where's where is Dakota actually? Alabama's know, huge too. <laughs> circuit. Alabama's not huge. Not on this map. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty big. Texas I mean, is like, that like three the times of... the size. Well, tech, yeah, just because Texas, Texas is, is humongous <laughs> doesn't right, mean right, Alabama right. is not big. So, okay, the Americas is like, oh, that's like, uh, that's near San Antonio. Oh, it's near San Austin. Antonio. It's Austin. It's Austin. Yeah. San Antonio. Yeah. yeah, which is near, which is yeah, it's it's outside of Austin, which is like the middle of Texas. I bet so it's, it's about the same. Away. I bet it's almost exactly the same to get okay, from right, right. Alabama to Dakota as it is to Miami. Oh no, Miami's what's, what's an, way far down. Oh, it'll be further to Miami, I reckon. What's an Alabama landmark that we can use that won't dox you? <laughs> Not. Uh, you could just but, use just use Birmingham. That's the Birmingham. That's okay, the, but. That's the primary city. Go to Muscle Shoals. Can I can I come there and call it Birmingham and really annoy people? <laughs> uh, sure. But Birmingham is that actually how you say it? Jeez. Yes, that that's how you say it down here. Okay? <laughs> Birmingham. No, not Birmingham, UK. <laughs> <laughs> that's one hell of a drive. I mean, if you call it that, you, I, I mean, I don't trust my my. Uh, my fellow citizens of my state do not call you homophobic slurs, so I would, I would be careful. <laughs> yeah, funny way of talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, that's a twelve-hour drive. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, at yeah, the scale of this, I'm losing. Well, I I'm bet it's, I, this I is bet what it's always happens. Hours. Yeah. I yeah. bet it's fourteen hours to Austin. Okay. Look. So that's from Birmingham to Circuit of Americas is twelve hours. Okay, what about to Miami? Is eleven and a half hours. It's close Let's to go. Miami. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you, it looks like it would be very similar. All right, and the I Miami know. Grand Prix <laughs> <laughs> is probably horrendously sold out and also horrendously expensive. Also, yeah, I do not trust any of my cars to make it there. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> so, oh okay. so right. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. Right. And, and until I if I if I ever achieve my goal of having a new MX5, which I probably never will, but if I do, I would trust that car to make it. <laughs> I'm actually. Oh, wait, um, actually. Sorry, right. to be fair, if I'm going all the way to America, I don't know why I would watch F1 there. I might as well watch some oval racing. So yeah, it's, we'll just watch yeah. IndyCar. So yeah, we could. Yeah, we go to IndyCar. We go to Talladega. We go to NASCAR race. Yeah, I'd love to see a Talladega, NASCAR yeah. race as well. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, be well, so come cool. on, I, I'm going to a NASCAR race in July. You are? Yeah, I'm going to Pocono, which is but, not well, oval. It's a triangle. <laughs> well, we're all yeah, going to okay. Pocono. Let's go. Here we go. Pocono. Where's Pocono? How do I get to Pocono? <laughs> just fly into Newark, Liberty, and then it's like an hour and a half, two-hour drive. Oh, well, I, I can't spell Pocono. I'm still frustrated that I went so close to um, uh, Laguna Seca. I drove literally past it and never got to see it. Oh, what the hell? Oh. I would just... That, that is one of my dreams, to just go through the corkscrew one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, in real and, life. And whatever car you do it in, just fall to pieces as you land. <laughs> <laughs> it look if I total my dream 1990 Miata in the corkscrew of Laguna Seca, I will have lived a good life. Okay, <laughs> if my 30 year old Japanese sports car just like shatters to a million pieces <laughs> on Laguna Seca, Worth I will it. be satisfied with its performance. Oh, yeah. And I was just sitting there with the steering wheel in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Talagaga is an, an hour away, so we can definitely do that. I, I, I said it really <laughs> badly. Uh, I committed to it. Like I would hope someone that no hates one would NASCAR. Know it. That sounds like someone who hates NASCAR <laughs> making fun of Talagaga. Like, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, IndyCar race and NASCAR yeah. race, I'd like to do at some point. That would be a, a bucket list. I think item. I am going to go to the, the IndyCar race this year uh, with a buddy of mine. So, yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll report back. I regularly watch IndyCar. I don't get to watch it live because I'm always uh, streaming when it's on, but I do. Like They, they, make, they do a good uh, like 30-minute highlight package on YouTube the next day, and it's always really good. And they have, yeah, It's the... great racing, IndyCar. Better than Formula One. Yeah, the race is the last the last Sunday in April will be the will be the race at Barber Motorsports Park. So, so IndyCar, I, that's oh. every car is the same, right? Uh, There's no apart like, from the, I think they have two different engine manufacturers, but apart from that, the chassis are the same. And yeah, I mean, most okay. things are the same. Yeah, I feel like I would like that. Then that that's like the purest to me form of just racing rather than the strategy of F one of building and yeah, I, mean, I still like F one a lot, but there's definitely a lot more variety in winners and the, more about the driver. I would say in the IndyCar stuff. Um, yeah, but then you know IndyCar has its own like you know Americanisms of of like sort of liking to have. Full course yellows and 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 safety cars bring them oh, together yeah. more and stuff like that more frequently than you would in in like European racing series anyway. But mm. yeah, it makes it it's a the, different kind of racing, a different kind of excitement, I suppose. Do IndyCar also just throw a caution for the hell of it in the middle of the race? Or? You, not not or that... not for the hell of it, but almost. <laughs> right. Okay. Like you know, like, you know in, in Formula play. One or some other European series where they might just wave double yellow flags or something like that to to make you aware whilst the marshals are getting rid of the incident. Whereas IndyCar just okay, safety car, everybody bun bunch up, and then we sort it out, and then everyone goes again. And yeah. Okay. Okay. But it it is it's it's good racing and good variety of winners and and pit stop strategies are always interesting with that in mind and yeah it, it's fun. Um, nice. I'm actually coming over to to your guys neck of the woods later this year in okay. end of August, <laughs> and by that I mean oh, I lost oh. him again. <laughs> what wait what's going on? August. What? What in August? What's going on? Oh, I, I'm I'm going back to uh, San Diego. Have we lost Argentina? Keep... Okay, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, um, oh, no, where yeah, you going? Yeah. Uh, I'm going back to uh, San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not my neck of the woods. That's not your all. neck. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, it's again that scale of the USA. That's like okay. I'm going to the USA, but like nowhere near. 
somewhat other people in here. Yeah. <laughs> You're on completely the other side, and that is quite far. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, what the fuck? San Diego is probably as far as you can get from New York as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I had to, be, yeah, every time yeah. we type an American place name, I have to put it into Google Maps because it's like, I know this is in America, but I don't know where. Yeah. Like, I never would have picked there for San Diego. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking at the map now, like the scale of it from New York to San Diego, it's kind of like the equivalent of UK to what, Turkey or something? Syria? Iraq? Something like that? Like, yeah, that's the yeah, distance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like it's crazy. Yeah, distance. it is kind of like that. Yeah, yeah we could drive to, to Syria. Yeah. yeah. You go to California is like flying into Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never been to California. I would like to. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, we're 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 going over for just the two like the last two times we went over to the U.S. in on that side of things. We were there for like a month each time, but this is just this is more of a we we did um, TwitchCon as well at the same time, but this is more of just a two week holiday, not bothering to travel around too much. We probably won't go to Vegas or San Francisco like we did the first time and things like that, which mm. is a shame because Vegas is pretty cool, but I'm trying to keep things there. cheaper. How do you how do you get to San Diego from here? A plane. <laughs> and what, but yeah, like what all the way, flight? or like stop? No, or? Yeah, you you get um well like from channel? up north. I mean, it, it it's from Heathrow basically. So we get a plane from here to Heathrow, and then you get a direct flight from Heathrow all the way to San Diego. Really? Okay. Like Not even like Los Angeles, like like LAX, I could imagine. But no, no. I mean, San Diego is a big city. Yeah. And yeah, hmm. direct flights. They had an NFL team, and then it moved to LA. Yeah, oh, I have hey, Los Angeles. Have Jersey, I think Los Angeles hmm. and San Diego are like one of those cities that are like almost touching. Uh, well, the two hours between them. Yeah, but like, there's <laughs> on Google Maps at least. There's a lot of city that goes. They're almost touching at the very end of them. Uh, I see what you mean, like, but there is a there is a lot of like wilderness in between. Speaking right, as someone okay. who's driven from one to the other, they're further than you think. Fair enough. Okay. They're, they're not like um, they're ways. not like cities in the UK where you you know you're driving for like fifteen minutes and then you're into the outskirts of another city or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because. Yeah, where I live in Bournemouth, it's actually three cities in one. It's Poole, Bournemouth, and Christchurch. Oh, really? But they're all, yeah, they all started as different things, but they're all, we all just glowed, like, globbed together now. It's just, like each one has expanded I, to the point where they've become together. Yeah, and okay. I think the, the government's, like, merged as well now. It's just uh, like. Huh. Oh, okay. Noss says there's an internet outage in his area. Is oh, that machine he, is dead? Oh, that's a shame. So that, I guess that's it. Sleep. Noss is, Noss yeah, is no gone. IP. No worries. Damn. All right. Well, I guess I can remove his uh, camera box. <laughs> oh, we could put San Andreas up there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything has to be with San Andreas, doesn't it? He's saying you're expanding, yeah. variety, ah. even bring San Andreas to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I unironically think more people would listen to a podcast if there was just gameplay in the background, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, that's the meta on like TikTok. Yeah, you got it is. The clips, it? and then you got subway surfers underneath it. And yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter GTA what, what it actually is, is it? Like, mm -hmm. it's strange it's how that works. Era, you know? Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, my. The, the the actual main talk. See, what talking about you know rambling on the first topic of what we've all been getting up to. It has rambled on for the net for forty five yeah, minutes. I guess <laughs> right. We have managed it somehow. <laughs> it's a very um, structured part. The the second uh, topic <laughs> was going to be about Josh's uh, Twitch Rivals i racing um, event, which was kind of unique, and I, I was almost in it as well, but I didn't get the nod. Um, and I, and I have follow up questions about about VR in particular. Cause, okay, yeah, I, but, I saw but, that. Yeah, um, yeah, your your iRacing event, Twitch Rivals, like Twitch Rivals, is a fairly for anyone who doesn't know, it's like a 
uh, uh, would you call it esports? It's not really esports as such, is it? Like it's it's like esports adjacent. It's like esports light. It's yeah. It's e It's like putting a bunch of Twitch streamers into an esports format and making them play against each other, right? Like competitively, but yeah, it's but like it's esports, like, but for Twitch streamers rather than yeah, yeah. for like non non competitive people necessarily. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you were doing i racing. You were invited to an i racing yeah. event. This, this, yeah. This fun. What's really funny to me is this is the second time I've been on like a big streamer thing for i racing, and I've never had it happen for San Andreas. <laughs> That's typical, <laughs> so, isn't it? Yeah, it's really funny. But yeah, no, I was in Grand Pubes, who is a Mario speedrunner. <laughs> Yeah, how, um, how, how on earth did he end up, like, I guess he, he, like, it looked like on his camera he has one of those rigs that moves around, like one of those yep. hydraulic pneumatic rig type things. So, like, so every time people bring this up, I'm like, why does Grand Pooh Bear, the speedrunner, care about iRacing? I'm sitting here like, hello? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is like, I don't know, yeah, he just, he, the man likes iRacing as well. I guess um, the, there's a lot yeah, of crossover, he, I suppose, with like, hey, you're racing to the end of a game quickly. You, it's it's not as much of a stretch yeah. that you would like racing cars. <laughs> yeah, it's like 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 repeating the same thing over and over again, like doing it well and competing yeah. stuff. Yeah. What is but racing yeah, he, if not speed running? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Speed yeah, running. He, the track. he said, I, I he said on the stream that um that he'd been like trying to get Twitch rivals to do an i racing thing for ages, and he was involved like getting the i racing staff to be involved with it and stuff. So. I guess I guess Grand Poobah has done, done other Twitch rival stuff before, but yeah, maybe this is the first time he's got he's hosted a thing. I, I'm not sure what the history is, um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of funny that I was also a speedrunner being in his event. But I I don't think he has any idea who I am, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't he didn't speak to me at any point. So. Yeah, did you beat him? Yes, he brutally. Knows you now. <laughs> he knows you now. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, a lot of the the other competitors were like actual eye racing streamers in terms of that is their main thing. But I thought the mm -hmm, format. Mm -hmm. Me and Hammer were talking about this. Like the format was was really good. How they had the two different groups. So and it was based on your eye rating. So the top, the top. What it was it ten eye rating 10. drivers were in the the prototype cars, and then the bottom ten eye rating drivers were in the GT three cars. But you were all mm -hmm, racing at the mm -hmm. same time, and then they teamed it up. I really liked how you had that teammate element that everyone in the top ten was matched with everyone in the bottom ten. So you had a a team prize pool as well, which was cool. Yeah, it was a good way I've to seen, run it. Um, I've seen a lot of things for this format. I don't know if Twitch Rivals started it, but I've seen things where like they have two different games, so they take like an expert from the first game and an expert from the second game and part partner them together. Mm, okay. And stuff like that, but yeah, I've seen like speed other speed running events where you have like a content creator and a speed runner paired together. Yeah, so like they did yeah. Minecraft at one point, and they had they had just a regular Minecraft content creator and like and then a competitive like speed runner or PvP -er or something. I can't quite remember, but they yeah they've done this sort of stuff before. It's a really good format. I agree. I I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, and like the um the the, the prize pooling is really good, where like. If you're like anywhere from like eighth to last or something, it's like you get paid the same. It's like there's no like, oh, sorry, you came last, you win nothing, sort of thing, right? Yeah, everybody gets like... something like a participation, like you get some yeah. money for your time in a way. Like, yeah, yeah, they, they they're they're paying all the streamers to be there essentially. Yeah, but making it somewhat competitive, so you still want to do well to get more and also just do better than other people, right? But but yeah, I I, I appreciate the fact that it's like. It was it was like a sizable amount. It was fifteen grand, fifteen dollars, fifteen thousand dollars prize pool, um, and uh, and I think it was like if you came last in both the teammate, the team championship, and your own personal one, uh, then it's three hundred and fifty dollars you got, which sounded okay for like three hours of work right you know yeah you're, you're still gonna you're, you're guaranteed that as a base amount even if you finish last on everything this is, that's that's not bad really <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was pretty good um and yeah like it ramped up i don't have i need to find the numbers again uh but um 
but the actual some of the some of the format of like what the rules were and stuff weren't super great. Um, let me try to find. There were eight Which races, by the way, on. on four different tracks, and the yeah. first race was well, one of the races was dry, and then the next race was wet. Or if the first race yeah. was in the rain, the second race would be dry. And it yeah. was always think... qualifying for the first race, and then the second race was reverse grid from the results of the the previous one. So I yeah. kind of like that think... as well. That mixed it up. I think the the way they got iRacing's attention to this because iRacing has been doing an amount of like PR stuff with the rain, so they were probably like, yeah, where the rain's just released, they're like, oh, let's promote the rain more by having lots of rain races as well, right? So, yeah, um, yeah, I got the uh, I got the the notes, yeah. So yeah, it was twenty players, yeah, ten teams of two, yeah, ten in the faster car, ten in the slower car, um. And yeah, it was Silverstone, Spa, Daytona, Road Atlanta. And the reason we did those tracks is because those are the tracks Grand Pooh Bear likes. Yeah, I mean, if but, it's his event, I mean, I suppose why not? <laughs> yeah, but they were they were good tracks. Some good tracks for me. I have at least done a race on all of them, so that was pretty good for me. Um, but yeah, so the, the the problem, what one of the problems was that they were using baseline setup for everything, and that there's iRacing added baseline wet for wet races and we weren't using that for the wet races so the the GTPs were like really undrivable in the wet and typically when they had wet races it was like properly wet it was like maximum rain in the races so they were like super wet it was like super difficult to drive I think um, one of the races that I saw the, the like this was the the prototype so the top 10 best guys in the event and only one of them didn't spin during the yeah. during the race yeah 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 <laughs> crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah Day, daytona yeah, yeah only casey so like oh man yeah some of the some of the people in this were absolutely nuts it was all over the place like they had yeah they've got casey Kerwin, who's like probably the best eye racer alive right now <laughs> right <laughs> like there's like he has like nine thousand eye rating which is almost the most of anyone and he wins like he, he's like a professional oval racer. Like, he's won a bunch of uh, esports events there. And he also does road, so he's, like, good at everything. They had uh, Tony Kanan, who's an Indy 500 winner uh, in the race, yeah. Um, Jarno Otmir, who I can't remember what he does, but I think he's, like... Didn't he win kind of... Formula 1 esports? Esports, yeah, yeah, I think he's... Fun. Yeah, Formula 1 esports driver yeah on the formula one game yeah yeah um yeah there was and like you know you got like just a bunch of really high like full-time i racing streamers um, i mean this is a perfect segue to work <laughs> to one of our topics but <laughs> what topic about uh so you were talking daytona i racing <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll, we'll segue there in keep a minute going, keep going. i'll keep going <laughs> um but yeah, no, I, I I got invited to the event um, expecting to just come last because I saw all these names of people being signed up. I was like, oh, you know, Christ, I'm going to get absolutely destroyed or whatever. Um, but thankfully, the lower 10 people were also like pretty similar skill level to me. Um, I managed to, I, I did the event. I stayed, it was super late for me. And I had only just traveled back from Norway the day prior. So I was like, my legs were aching from building a snowman in Norway, and I was, <laughs> I was, uh, I was super tired. I didn't really practice at all, so I went in not expecting a lot. But yeah, I came, I came fourth in my in the the solo championship, um, which was really good. There is like the Saxo Gaming, Borja Zazo, and HCDZ or whoever. whatever. They, those three were like a. Like they were like the middle class. They were like way better than the rest of us. Um, yeah, they would have just... probably been able to like compete with the back end of the prototype drivers, but nowhere near yeah. on the top of the very top drivers. Like, yeah. yeah. So, so realistically, yeah, I... fourth was probably the best that you were yeah. gonna get given their I... caliber. At the at the end of the event, I was really mad because I I felt like I'd thrown away a lot of opportunities. I could have won a couple races, but one of them I got span by someone else um but they they apologized and waited for me so you can't ask for more than that yeah um and another one i, I just threw away myself but but like i'll a few of times it just went bad but yeah i 
I maximized what I could. I could not have done any better than fourth. Like, I have 83 points and third has 120, right? Whereas, like, fifth has 80 and sixth has 79, right? Like, we were all super close. And then there's, like, a massive leap to third. Um, but yeah, my, my teammate, I was watching uh, Quirk, who's, like, a full-time iRacing streamer who I watch play iRacing, and he was, like... He was doing practice for the event and he was worrying about driving the gtp because it's not a car he drives ever um and he was like practicing and he was just like oh god i hope i don't want i don't want to let my teammate down i hope i don't have to and i'm sorry whoever i pick or whatever and I, i'm having to practice and i said in his chat like oh don't if you pick me don't worry like i don't care like we i don't care if we come last <laughs> um so then he actually picked me even though it it was like a reverse draft so the lowest i rating captain picked first and picked like the best like lower half person oh, um but but quirk picked me out of sequence which was nice it wasn't just like us lining up or whatever he picked me even though he could have picked someone better probably just um, to take that pressure off you were both in that same mindset yeah of, yeah just no not ch just chill out <laughs> yeah it was good it, it was helps. good for us like i liked it a lot and i like not having any pressure um but it was good for him he did because i punched way above my weight i from I rating, I should have been like seventh or eighth, I think. Um, so the fact that I came fourth was like, yeah, I did super well. Yeah, that's but good. unfortunately, things went really bad for Quirk. <laughs> he came, uh, he came seventh in the cat in his championship. Ugh. Which so is, how how much did you win him. from the event? Uh, fourth in fourth in your solo and. The team, were you sixth or something in the team? So seventh or eighth or something in like that? In teams, uh, we came eighth. eighth. We came eighth in the teams, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we I won uh, $750 from it. Which pretty, was good. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, was a, it was a really fun event. Um, but yeah, the, the broadcast was pretty depressing to watch afterwards. <laughs> So what I expected to be happening, because I've never watched Twitch Rivals before, was that they were using the in-game spectator and like having a proper race spectator. That's thing what I thought they the were going to do as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> using like third-person view TV and stuff. It's like no, they weren't doing that. They were just watching our streams. Yeah, with commentary. They just, they just kept going from different streams to different streams and missing out on half yep. the action, not knowing what was going on. Uh, like, yeah. I can't believe they just didn't use the in-game spectator function, which yeah. makes it look like a proper race. <laughs> Yeah, but, but like, but the also the whoever was producing it just focused on the GTPs and like no one else. Like I, I expected it to be like seventy thirty split or something like between the fast cars and the slower cars, but it was like they never showed the slower cars. I had some insane moments just personally where like free white freeway battles for the 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 race or like photo finishes. I've had like I I literally killed the leader on lap one of the last race <laughs> and they didn't notice or know at all um and that's just me there were like nine other cars right but yeah they just didn't they didn't show any of it so anyone want ice cream <laughs> yeah i, yeah, I was like cream, what yeah. the heck is that it's back <laughs> but um, yeah so uh, so that the, the, the main broadcast was a bit sad but there were still like sixteen thousand people watching it but. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense as like an event that you're bringing together all these big names in their field of streaming mm -hmm. and they all come and watch the same thing at the same time. It, you're going to have a lot of uh, viewers on that. So it's it's a smart thing to do, Twitch Rivals. Yeah. They did a GTA yeah. Twitch Rivals uh, last year, really? I think, but it was the Spanish Twitch Rivals. Um, uh, so, But they mm. had like... They they did it across two days, from what I uh, I understand, because they had so many people mm -hmm. wanting to do it. They had like first day for qualifiers, where they ran through the playlist of races that they did, and the top eight went into the main final day. But the skill level wasn't that great from outside looking in, and oh, no. some of the races that they did were like some of them were those face to face races where you you know transform into a a f car that can flip something else and they hit each other and. Yeah. It, you know, it's, um... <laughs> I mean, that's like what we did with uh, the MCEC. That was so much fun when we were doing the commentating over it with it, watching everyone's streams. Yeah, I mean that that was yeah. It, I, I I'd say out of the all the MCEC experiences, being like commentating the racing 
when I'm not in it was most more fun than actually racing in it. Yeah, I, I, enjoyed, I really enjoyed that. Doing that. Yeah, and you had the you know the GT ones up on one screen, and then GT twos on another screen, and you know yeah. broadcasting it all and trying <laughs> to tell the story of the race and stuff. Like, yeah, it mm. was it was that was fun. Um, but yeah, at, at GTA Twitch Rivals, I, I might have uh, sent an email. <laughs> about <laughs> hey here's an idea gta twitch <laughs> rivals but you give uh you you know english speaking version rather than yeah, the Spanish yeah version. english speaking and and, and mm-hmm. you know hey i've 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 got experience with organizing big racing events don't you know <laughs> yeah. but yeah, i haven't, I I haven't heard a response so i doubt we'll see it yeah. anytime soon. <laughs> i feel like i feel like twitch just thinks of gta as like the role play game and nothing yeah, else I know. Right? Like, well i made games. that um i made that uh that that point of like oh you know the amount of people who play 5m and, and do role play and a lot of people are racing within that as well like you could totally just bring all those people over it would be very easy for them to jump onto online and just do some races for this event um mm-hmm. big names and all this kind of stuff but yeah I, I haven't heard back so i don't i don't think it'll happen but we can yeah. dream. It would be fun. Because <laughs> the prize pool for the Spanish version was insane. It was a hundred grand. What? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't know what I don't know how that happened, but like the winner of that event got like twenty grand or something like that. It was <laughs> crazy. Bruh. Bruh. If you had paid us out for the MCC, I would have been hot laughing <laughs> for weeks like everyone else. Are you kidding me? I That's... seem to recall that event was sponsored by someone though, was it not? The um I'm the, the sure Twitch Rivals a, a big um, sponsor for it. Yeah. Was there a sponsor for it? Okay. I, I know I'm that sure they had like was. featuring the, the name of the, so. the, the creator who was like running it like they did with the the Grand Pooba i racing thing, but yeah. I can't remember it, that it being. It rings a bell. I would have to I would have to look into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That might be why it's possible. Still. I mean, yeah, it would be interesting doing a, a G. And, and my, my thought with it was like, it wouldn't all be serious racing like we do. You know, we could add some different types of racing and some stunt stuff and transform stuff and rally stuff. Like, it could actually be an entertaining view, but yeah, whether mm. whether Twitch um, would see that, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like unless you have like a big name, they wouldn't do it. Because like, this was like Grand Pooh Bears iRacing duo. Like, it was like, they leaned on him a lot in the broadcast and yeah. the, the marketing and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the whole yeah the whole broadcast was just like, oh look at Casey, he's so good. Like I feel like he was on the screen like forty percent of the time. <laughs> yeah, might as well just watch his stream. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the only time I ever stuck out, I think, was when they actually switched to my view. They only switched to my view twice the whole time. I remember once and, early on where it was like, oh, this guy's got VR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. That was the only thing I stuck out for was yeah. VR. There were a few people in the in the chat I saw that were like, oh, so who's playing with VR? And other people were like, oh, Josh is. And then yeah. I had a few people come into my chat like, yo, sick VR. <laughs> yeah, which that, leads into... Which, which is a perfect segue to okay, what I was going to ask about. Because... <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be changing this room. I'm not. I'm gonna remove myself from this room and go to the room over the other side of the house, where it's gonna be cooler, less bright. It's it, there's many benefits to moving my office over there, but I never. I don't know why I never thought about it in the five years that we've lived here. But um, with with this change, I'm gonna get like a new desk and all this kind of stuff. And I was just thinking, like maybe the next step of of my racing rig is just VR, like getting a VR headset and 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 then I don't need a screen in front of my rig, save on space and all that kind of stuff. Um, mm-hmm. But I have so many reservations about it. Like, I wouldn't be able to see all the buttons on my steering wheel. It's a oh, yeah. very simple oh. one. Uh, oh, the, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the weight and the fact that it's on your head for so long and whether I could stand it for that long, the heat and all this kind of stuff, like, uncomfortable. So my, I was going to ask you, like, what is your experience with VR? Do you think it's actually worth it, or, or is it better to just stick to screens? I I think the unfortunate realistic answer is for a content creator, it's definitely better to just stick with screens. Yeah. Because viewership wise, it's like it's so much easier to watch like a you know the same format you're watching it right like. It's um, the, the, that, the yeah, VR. Because I, like... yeah, I was going to ask about like you know with the race labs of stuff that you put on the screen and all this kind of stuff. Like I guess you've got to like find workarounds and do that manually and things like that for the stream because it's not 
Oh, you're not always going to be able to see it on the stream uh, if you're in VR and it's. So okay, so Race Labs has VR support. Uh, you can have it in VR, but I don't use that. What I the Race Labs also has like a streamer thing, like it outputs to like a web page, and you just open that in OBS. Yeah. Okay. So you make like a layout and stuff. So I I have that. So the the mini map and stuff like that. I just don't see it. It's only on stream. Right. Um, but yeah, you lose all that. Like, yeah, like you said, the, the wheels, like seeing the wheels, like I haven't, I have to, you just have to memorize it. Memorize like the location of every button and stuff. Yeah. The bit yeah, of feel. And like, yeah. there are, there are a lot of times I'm poking around, like I can't remember what button it is. And then eventually I find it and stuff. Yeah. It's, that's a problem. And you can't, you can't have like stuff on your wheel, like custom data things or anything. Like all that's useless because I can't see it anyway. Yeah, like um, I've got that little display that's on the top of my wheel, but and I wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah. So. Um, as you, for the weight, as you said, like I don't know, man. Like people drive race cars with helmets, and that's with G force. Like I never think about the, yeah, I never think I about the weight of the helmet. Like it never. That's sorry, the headset. And but, I, I mean, have like we we got... CC Vive. Yeah, that's what we have, and every time I've right. used it. I've kind of felt happy to take it off after like I don't know half an hour to an hour or whatever. Like okay, uh, I guess I don't. I've used it so much. I don't really problem have a problem with that. I know light like later models of stuff are like way lighter, mm. um, and they're just way better. Like I I keep thinking about getting an index like a valve index. Yeah, but I'm just trying to wait until their next one, the the Picard or whatever it's called, the prototype name. So. But I'm I'm waiting for a Valve product, right? Like I, okay. I realize this is yeah. a terrible idea. Yeah, so, you could be waiting for twenty years. Yeah, exactly. So maybe I should just pull the trigger on an index, right? But um, but I I enjoy VR a lot. I wouldn't play any other way, personally. It's Every, it's a lot more fun. Everything I've you. seen has been that like anyone who uses VR for racing, it's like I couldn't go back. Like it it's mm -hmm. that much better. And for me, VR makes the most sense in a, a racing situation like when you're in a rig you don't need to move around which i think is one of the big limitations of, of vr the fact that you've got to like press a button to move in a different location and stuff but yeah. when you're in a rig you're sat in the seat and it seems like it's just a much better experience it's just there's all these other uh especially from a content creation and streaming perspective there's all these other things that you've got to take into account that might not make it worthwhile yeah yeah it's like yeah i think this is like the the one true application of vr because all other vr stuff is just like motion game gimmicky crap to me but yeah. this is like this is like a real game or whatever that i'm playing with this the is VR like headset. flight simulator type stuff yeah and any, any vehicle thing i yeah. feel like is like really good for vr um but yeah, I think it's like really good personally open wheel cars are really fun in vr because you just you're open like to the elements and you see everything and you can yeah. see everything around and stuff yeah in like the closed cockpit you have less view and everything but but yeah it's like it's it's difficult because you need you you have to turn the settings way down to get like because you have to render everything twice basically for double eyes so that the setting the graphics look worse i always get comments on my stream like oh eye racing looks so bad i'm like no guys i'm playing at like low settings please like <laughs> <laughs> Even with a two PC setup, like I can't, you can't play it like maxed in VR. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah, I, I content creator wise, there's a lot of yeah, like you said, like a lot of a uh, lot of drawbacks, a lot and of drawbacks. compromises. Yeah, yeah, but but playing it is better. Some people don't like it. Some people say that triples are better, but I I like playing in VR. I find it interesting yeah. that a lot of the like the very best eye racing or, or sim racers they will use triple screens rather than VR setups for mm. a variety of reasons I guess but I don't have the space for triple screens so maybe VR is the best to get that you know feel but yeah if it's if it's a choice between single monitor and VR I think VR is good um speaking about this I literally just today I found a thing for OBS called Live Vision Kit, which is like a, a, a video stabilization plugin for OBS. Um, unfortunately, it stopped development at the beginning of this year, but I can still use it. I was going to try that for VR because um, what, whenever I watch my streams back, it's just like the camera. You don't notice it when you're head, but you're so wobbly all the time. Yeah. 
Like having the the camera perspective be my face is like really obnoxious. So having like a video stabilization might help a bit. I'd have to crop the game yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But but yeah, I mean it works. It, I mean you have a two PC setup as well, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. What so one just... PC when I did that was really rough because the PC is doing too many things. Yeah. Like rendering the stream, playing like doing the VR, rendering the game. It's just like way is way too much. The GPU just explodes. So. I don't know. It's something it that I'm considering, and, and with this whole change to my office, I might I might mm. give it a try. Mm. Um, I but... mean, yeah, just keep keep the monitor there as well in case you play stuff that doesn't have VR support. Yeah, like, I I recently just got a new monitor arm so that my left monitor I can put in front of my sim rig for exactly that reason. Oh, okay, so I can use it single monitor as well. But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, give it a try. You can, you can get it to work. I think that the, the, one of the benefits of having it would be that I don't need a monitor, so I would probably just get rid of it and deal with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I can't play fair something enough. with the VR, then screw it, I'm not playing it. <laughs> yeah, all right, fair enough. That's that is how I've been for yeah. a few years. Are you doing all right, RDT? Yeah, I just had to sign out, sign a waiver for this birthday party that I'm going to. <laughs> what? You had to sign a what? waiver? What are you? What the? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> We're going to a, a trampoline park, so oh, going to be doing uh -huh. some sick backflips and just shatter every bone in my body. <laughs> That's going to go well with your hangover. <sighs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, triple screens would be nice, but I've got my triple screen set up on my main PC. and I don't know. I'm, con I'm actually going to get a standing desk where you can change the level of it. Like maybe oh, it's maybe yeah. it's possible to put it so low that it'll be like perfect height for the rig, but then I'd have to move the rig into position every time. Like yeah, it's too much work. Yeah. And you'd I be just, really far away from the screen. Yeah, really. I just want something where I can like I can just get in the rig, put the headset on, for example, and just play. Okay, well I, that sounds great, but it's a lot of work because you sit down, you put the VR headset on, then you realize something's wrong with the stream. <laughs> And then you have to, you know how horrible it is to get out of the sim rig already. Add like coming in and out of VR to yeah, this step okay. as well. It's like it's not. It's not it does seem like there's a lot more headaches potential. Yeah. Like, for, yeah. Yeah. Just getting in the sim, like yeah, the VR headset is one extra thing to that process, not one less. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah, I would. I've been looking at like the different VR headsets, and I would probably be going for something that doesn't have like all of the like this more simple version, like. The ones where it's just the headset and you don't need the base stations and all this other kind of stuff. And, oh, right. Because we have the vibe, and I find that just so annoying to set up all that <laughs> extra guff. It's just, I don't want that complication in I've my got, life. Right, yeah, I, I've just got mine like um, using the magic clamps to my desk. Right. Like, all that stuff. Because like, I never do like the room VR stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'll, I'll yeah. think about it. I've got plenty of time to, before mm. I make this change, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, you, you should just you should just try VR, like, there before you move all your stuff, right, and see if you get along with it. Yeah, again, you but, just... yeah. Hmm? It's the setup yeah, you, you of everything. Just... Like, we've got the Vive, but it's in Zexy's office, so, like, I would have to unplug everything and bring it all over here and then set it up all okay, over well, here. And... Ha, okay, just go on Steam and buy two more lighthouses and then <laughs> put them there, and then you only need to move the headset and not all unscrew all the lighthouses off the wall or however you've got it, right? No, that's not a problem. They're not screwed in. They're just, like, standing on things. Oh, okay, I just can't well. be asked to do all the setup required. Honestly. Right, okay, well. Maybe VR is not for me. Maybe I just need to stick with <laughs> yeah, the screen. Yeah, if you don't like all the stuff, I don't know, man. Like this. It's, a to me, it, it's, it's more the fact that like it would be moving it all just for a test. Like if I'm gonna go through all this setup, then okay, fine. I'll just I'm gonna set it up once, and then okay, I'm done. If I'm gonna have to set it all up to then remove it again and set it all up again in a different <laughs> room back where it was, it's like ah, uh, oh, I don't have time for this. All right, how about? You move your gaming PC and sim rig into Xerxes' office. <laughs> use the VR that way. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, think, I got, think I suppose... how much stronger your neck is going to be for real life racing. That's <laughs> a benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, GT driver said in the chat, just test it, just buy it, just you know, wear your racing helmet for for eye racing streams for a while, and then that'll give you a feel for you know wearing something yeah, on yeah, your yeah, head. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, think of it as training. Yeah, I guess I could um, like. I don't need to necessarily be in the rig to try out the VR. I could download iRacing on Xerxes PC and just log in into a session in a car yep. and just get the feel for what it's like being in the car. And, you know. Yeah. Just play what you want to do is go like... go one step further and add weights to the side of the headset. <laughs> and then you'll have like the biggest neck. Yeah. 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 Biggest neck. Yeah. Actually, use it for training. I come yeah. off after a four hour eye racing stream, absolutely sweating. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Massive Straight neck. neck and oh yeah. I mean, that's gonna happen anyway. Yeah. The heat of the headset, like you said, that you were, yeah. <laughs> you were gonna sweat. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it requires more thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I wish I could come and say like, "Oh, yeah, it's perfect in every way." Use it, but no, it's so, so you have so many compromises. Yeah, that's VR it. Stuff. That's what I, that's what my research has been telling me as well. When I've been yeah. thinking about it more, VR is such a good idea. It's just so many hoops and compromises. Yep. yep. Uh, all right, the, the slight bit of gaming news we've got is Nintendo, uh, the yeah, whole gotta, uh, Yuzu si- shutdown system. Oh, you need to go. I tell you what we'll do yeah, gotta, before we get into that. Um, do let's do I the racing corner because you wanted to talk about. Uh, you know, William. I didn't really want to talk about. It. I just wanted to throw in that little anecdote that William Byron, the winner of this year's Daytona 500, started his career in iRacing. racing. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yes, too. William Byron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you watch it, or, or did you just come across the, that news? Like, your, your motorsport um, uh, 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 watching now does it extend to other types of motorsport? Like, does your your missus like other types of motorsport, or is it just Formula One? I'm trying to get her into NASCAR because oh, yeah. I kind of started watching NASCAR with some of the Xbox guys uh, last year. I mean, I'm going to a dang race with them. Oh yeah, in July. yeah that's true. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you know, I'm I'm getting into it. All right. Oh, you'll get there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you'll be you'll be, uh, you'll be the one leading the charge on Racing Corner in in, you know, in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, sir. Just just before we move on um just going back to the, the twitch rivals gta event yeah they were sponsored by verizon dunkin donuts pizza hut and crypto.com so yeah okay. they had a few extra quid to toss around <laughs> okay you know. that's why it was 100 grand prize pool <laughs> mm-hmm. okay that makes more sense i don't think i have the name recognition to get those kind of companies to, to sponsor no. the twitch rivals You'd be surprised. Yeah. I think you would be surprised. I don't think so. Listen, I work in advertising. Well, then you can get the companies for us. Then I'm not a seller. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> how how big is uh, Grand Pooba, who did the iRacing racing thing? Three hundred twenty k uh, on YouTube, three hundred sixteen k on Twitch. So I'm not far away on the YouTube side, at least. Wow, look at that. Yeah. So I could do a Twitch Rivals. They won't, they won't answer me, will I? <laughs> All right, I do actually have to yeah, step Yeah, no out. worries. Have fun so, at your trampolining. Thank you. It was nice seeing you guys. Nice talking to the chat. Nice seeing everybody, all your beautiful faces. And we'll do this again next month. Okay? <laughs> we will. We yeah. will. Okay. <laughs> See you later. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, man, we're, we're dropping like stuff. flies today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh man, it's crazy. Uh, I'll, I'll hang on, I'll open up San Andreas. I need to be on me. per permanently to to bulk up the numbers. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're um. I mean, this was yeah. The, the, didn't we make a joke about that? Was it the pre-show? Or was it the start of the podcast? Where we, was it the connection issues? We actually were dropping yeah. like flies. Like it has actually happened on the podcast. Quickly get San Andreas. Come I'm up. on, I'm up, coach. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> you're in, Hammer. You're in. Just, yeah. just put like a picture of Hammer's icon, or a profile picture on the screen. Right? Can you, can you send me it? I'll, I'll actually put it on. <laughs> in the uh, corner. Let me duplicate this scene. Create a new one. 
I've got scenes for like Nos not being what here, is. RDT not Thank being God. here, Josh not being here, but I don't really have any scenes set up for two people not being here because right, normally we don't a do a second. podcast. I can, we... you some... I can send you something. Is it going to be a hammer? Uh, uh... I'm going to be disappointed now if it isn't. Yes. <laughs> The actual, this is your actual avatar on your streams, isn't it? It is. All right. Oh, are, we, we are we VTubing? Is that what's about to happen? It's actually referred to as PNG tubing, uh, Josh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. PNG tubing, yeah? Yeah. We want to get technical about things. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay, that's fine. There you go. Excellent. There we go. There we go. <laughs> beautiful nice How, uh, All did, right. is it like is there a, a, a like a program that you use or something to yes. get the mouse to move and everything with the oh, yeah there know. is yeah. Oh, okay. it's called Viado Tube Mini okay. so it's like VTuber adjacent it's using sim similar <laughs> sort of technology I guess no, you... it's, it's all completely custom built just for moving images around oh so. okay yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I guess we'll continue the racing corner since the whole thing. Before we move on to actual gaming news, we'll continue racing corner with the iRacing racing update. This is kind of a little bit um late now gaming because adjacent, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's gaming and it's going to bridge the gap nicely, I guess. Um, the iRacing racing update with the weather. It's really cool. It's yeah. really fun. I'm so glad the they rain. finally added it. <laughs> it's so insanely good. Like, oh my god, the wait was so worth it. Like, it's it's people think of like, oh wow, rain in a racing game. Okay, they all have that, right? Like, it just you know, it looks really pretty, and then you all Not lose like thirty percent for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like actually like their physically based simulation of weather. Right, like whether a cloud, like you have a weather radar in game, and it's like an accurate, like actual weather radar. <laughs> And then, Me. like, based on that, it rains, like, and then water slowly fills the track. Like, it's not, oh, it's raining. You all need wet tires now. Like, it, the track gets wetter, drains a little bit. It, it, the water flows physically. It pools physically where it does in real life based on physics. I'm going to keep saying the word physics, <laughs> apparently. It's so good. There are so many real life racing drivers that have been like, yeah, they nailed this, right? Like, this is actually. It's actually really, really cool. The track will dry, like the dry line will form as cars go over, like the the water in the right place and stuff. The you puddles have, will just stay there. Different parts of the track being dry and different yes. track, sides of the track being yeah, wet. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I've, 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 like I've experienced that. The east side that. of the track will be wet and the, the west side mm -hmm. will be dry. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible what they've done. I yeah, think the thing it's... that like gets me is that the act like the um like you say it's not just that the track is suddenly wet everywhere like the the principles in real life of you stay off the racing line because that's where it's more slippy mm -hmm. and you can go around the outside of corners and it's better that is modeled correctly like you can feel the difference between being offline and on the normal racing line in terms of how slippy it is on the wet part of the track uh, and yep. then that like that will dry up better and still be the better place to be on, and it dries up at different parts of the track in different ways. Like it's it's just a step above any other rain in a racing game that I've seen. Although I did have one person in the comments of my my i racing video about the rain saying like, "Oh yeah, G G this is just terrible. GT Gran Turismo Seven is the best weather effects." I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if this game really wants realism. Uh, it maybe, needs to, it needs maybe, to show maybe itself. Maybe best up. looking. Might maybe. be best looking, yeah, but yeah, Might be best looking. You could definitely, yeah, <laughs> like graphics, graphically wise, eye racing has never been the best, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like it's so good. Like the 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 Sebring twelve hours is happening now, and it's like the first long endurance race that's had rain, and people have experienced like you know the track like rubbers up, grips, and your tire life gets better. And the rain happens, washes it all away, and then the tire life, like even when it's dry, the tire life goes back to being shit. <laughs> like, it's it's so cool. And like, oh, I had a I had a race the other day where I was like I was practicing GT freeze for Twitch rivals, and like it it rained in practice, and then it was dry for qualifying, but it was the 
the sorry the it wasn't raining in qualifying but the track is still super wet but then we got to the race at the start of it and it's just like hmm if i like i have a choice i can there's a pit stop in the race it's like 40 minutes long do i put in low fuel so i can pit early for dry tires when the track dries out do i start on the dries and try to make it wet uh, try to make it work until i pit like and do the normal fuel strategy and stuff but like i i qualified really badly and I was like, you know, I've seen this in F1. The, the 20th place guy will just put on dries and see what happens. And tries it. <laughs> so I just YOLO'd dries. And my God, it was such a good decision. The very start of the race, like two laps later, I went from last to second. <laughs> it was so amazing. Cool. I, I stuck to the dry line like glue and it was, I did it. It was amazing. It was I love that. Good. I love like I love that that can be a thing now in our yeah. racing. It was like everyone was talking on the radio at the start. Or everyone's just like, "Hey guys, are you taking wet tires? Like, who's taking what tires?" Right? Like, <laughs> and and there are a few people like saying they were on dries and they weren't. But yeah, it was me and one other guy. The guy who was in first. Both were on dry <laughs> tires, and everyone else was on wet. We That's just demolished crazy. them. It was amazing. Yeah, it's really yeah. fun. Yeah, the, the the Twitch Rivals stuff. The wet races, I did the best in because I I've just. <laughs> I've done nothing but drive in rain since like week 13 when it first came out. Yeah. I've had so much experience in it. I was just Those watching races people. Were wild. It was so <laughs> wet. But like, but because I've been where I was doing week 13, where I racing just set the rain to maximum, I had experience. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. I stayed off the racing line. I lifted and then broke really carefully. I made my brake bias like way rearwards. You know, I, I just knew exactly what to do, and it really paid off. I think that's why I came such a high position compared to my I rating. Yeah. Like, I wasn't fast. I just knew how to drive in the wet. <laughs> I, I had a similar experience yesterday with the I racing races. Like, the, the final race I did was with the Toyotas. Um, mm. And it, the track was, it wasn't raining, but it was still wet. So it was, like, slightly yeah. wet, I think it was, or lightly wet. Um, and so everyone was on wet tires. And it was, I was, I think it was the top split, but I was ranked last. So I was ranked 15th out of all the 15 drivers. Um, yeah. And I th think I qualified at like ninth and I finished seventh. Like just from the fact that I, I, I mean, I haven't done that much driving in the wet, but my real life experience in the wet helps definitely. But yeah, it, it is such a game changer that I, by my I rating in the top split of that race, I should have finished last. And I got top half, so it, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's fun. It, it's nice that it can mix it up a bit. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's really uh, cool. So, hmm? go on. Sorry, I was just going to say. I think like my only criticism that I've seen of it so far is the um, <clears throat> the warning lights at the back of the cars don't seem particularly bright. But I don't oh, they've already a... they've already fixed that. I mean. To me, they still they're <laughs> to me they're still not near bright enough. I mean, think? I think some, okay. I think it's maybe different in VR, Josh. I don't know, oh. but like looking at looking at streams, I'm still going, where the fuck is the car? Yeah, <laughs> it is front? very like, difficult. It's yeah. a nightmare, and I think that's the sort of thing where you kind of have to go. I know it's a simulation, but <laughs> you have to gamify it a little bit. We have to make the tools it, yeah. to make things a little bit easier and a little uh, bit better for everyone by but, making a little bit of a change yeah, and yeah. just you know. The the just... problem with the problem with this is that like iRacing, the game engine doesn't it doesn't have like dynamic lights. That's so the, that's what I was thinking. It's not it's yeah. not the brightness of the light. It's the diffusion of it through the water, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. just the, the 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 lights, the brake lights and stuff. There's just a texture on the back of the car. It doesn't actually yeah, yeah, emit yeah. light. So like the 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 water should like flash red. Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, it yeah. just can't. So yeah, what they what they've done is yeah, they've just made the lights like they render on top of the water like a lot. They they right, fixed that right. in like they fixed that after week thirteen, like one of the earlier patches. Because, yeah, it was just, a, you couldn't, you just rear-ended the car in front of you because you just couldn't see them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember, I, remember, I was watching your stream on, on the day it, it, it launched, and you were like an inch behind the car in front and couldn't see. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, it doesn't matter if it's like, you know, 30 yards down the road or right in front of you, you still couldn't see where the car was. Yeah, all. yeah. Nightmare. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, the spray is like immense, but it is 
yeah, like you said, it's realistic. It's just like, yeah, yeah, when it's this wet, they don't race because they can't fucking see anything, exactly. right? Like, yeah, yeah. That was the awkward. experience I had in that LMP2 race in the rain. It was like, okay, I understand yes. now. I understand yeah. why they don't rain, race in these conditions because yeah, yeah. you just cannot see. I watched your, um, when you first tried it in week 13, you, you joined the Toyota race in the Nordschleife. Yeah. And you were like, oh, this is easy. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, drive a faster car, bro. Drive, <laughs> yeah. drive an aerodynamic faster car. Like I was driving super formula lights a lot of the week 13 and yeah, the LMP2. And yeah, you cannot see the, the rain just, just shoot the water. Just yeah. Shoots up. yeah. You can't see anything. I think I think when it, it really dawned on me how realistic this was was when I think one of the first races you did, Josh, was like Eau Rouge, and you. Oh yeah, the at river. Speed, at speed, you moved into um, the spray of a car, and you just hear it wallop the front of the car like, oh, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Big splash of yeah. water hitting the car. It was like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah, like okay. the, the, water, the, the sound effect as you drive through the rain. Yeah, it gets like louder and as you drive faster and. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, even if it's not yeah, raining, fantastic. yeah, in the, in the spray of another car, you still need to use the windscreen wiper. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, and the river that runs along El Rouge <laughs> is horrific. You like yeah. it's sketchy, it horrid. In the, yeah. sketchy in the dry to go around that corner. But then the very first time you try to turn in, and then you just aquaplane over a river. It's horrific. It was great fun. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, and I, I think all of my practice in it is, like, that's what I wanted to do. I was like, I'm going to fully commit to learning how to drive in the rain, and I'm just going to smash people because they're not going to have as much, like, in iRacing, you don't yeah, have any rain yeah. before this, so I'm just going to get as good as this as possible. This is if the game just came out, like, brand new. Right? <laughs> yeah, new so, life into it. Yeah, so I've been, in, I've been enjoying the rain races a lot. I really like the strategy element. I really want to have some more races where it's just like, do I pit for wets? Do yeah. I not? Sort of thing. I, they, I'm actually doing it? more iRacing too. Sorry. Like, it just, in, in, um, like it came at the perfect time because I planned to, to uh, I want to do more iRacing, so I've put it on like mm -hmm. more frequently in my schedule. And then the the weather update comes, so it's, it's even more interesting now to race. Mm -hmm. Sorry, how many you were going to say? Yeah, I was just ask. I was just going to ask, like, have they made it so that the races that you can enter, um, either say, oh, it's going to be dry all the time, or is it just yeah. a blanket? There will be some kind of weather setting available. Um, it gives so it gives you a forecast. You know, when you click on like the session mm -hmm. to like join it and stuff, no, it says I like. I was meaning like before you even get to that, is there like dedicated dry races that people can go into? Oh yeah, like the schedule. Yeah, like there's, yeah. There's, yeah, some of the races like you can. The, a lot of the cars don't have rain enabled, right? So ah, if you, right. If yeah. You, okay. If you so drive might, with they those, might change that in the future that there will always be a slight chance yeah. you might get rain at some so, point you know so i've i've been driving f4 at um imola not imola sorry uh the other one ah oh, crap what's the other italian one the one they did once uh i don't remember the name of it but anyway it's in italy right and it's like warm as hell Magello. so it's like Magello, yeah so even though there's like it could rain the cars and the track and everything has it enabled it just doesn't there's just a zero percent chance of oh, rain anyways. okay so is it realistic to where you are in the world as well then? yeah there's there's free there's three ways uh, the rain okay. could work there's one way where you just you can set it and the whole race will be that flat so you mm. just like pick a thing there's yeah. another way where you can use a timeline editor so you pick like oh i want it to be sunny at the start and then rainy in the middle and then foggy yeah, yeah. and then uh, but the third way is you just tell it to just use forecasted weather, just like just use realistic weather, just do that. Um, so it's yeah. like it's not like the, what the weather is there right now. It just uses historical weather data of that place and like oh, right, a, right. and a random number generator or whatever to like yeah randomly so, pick. So what you're saying is when Knock Hill gets enabled, it's always going to be <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always be wet there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. always wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i'm trying to find like a i don't have any series that have rain at the moment to show you uh well anyway i can show you like so this is the i'll put this in discord somehow um 
But yeah, it's like when you go to sign up a race, it says like, oh, here's the car, here's the track, and here's the forecast. Like before, like in the UI yeah, before yeah. you even get in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can see. Like, I, I was just wondering, like, because obviously there will be people that are so used to iRacing being one way, as in, yep. I only race in the dry. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to entertain racing mm -hmm. in the wet. Is, is that going to be, like, the end of things for them? Because yeah. there's always going to be a chance of rain. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do worry about this a bit, because there is already, like, there's a big split in the community between open and fixed races. Mm -hmm. So, like, like using, like, an open setup where you can change everything in the car, and then, like, no, everyone should drive exactly the same setup to make it fair, and no one should have an advantage or whatever. So there's a big split yeah. between these people. I wonder if they're also going to split, like... Oh, there's here's the fixed dry, here's the here's yeah, the fixed exactly, wet, yeah. and all this stuff, right? I don't know how they're going to handle it, but for I still now, feel at like least, iRacing just... can do a, a better job at like I I implementing that sort of stuff in the ladder system, like you know, a, a, a preference of having more fixed races further down in D and C tier races, say like. LMP3s with GT4s and it's fixed and it's C class and then your B class is LMP2s and GT3s and it's maybe fixed there and then A is LMP2s, GTPs and GT3s not fixed or something like that. Like instead of having mm. double series where one is fixed, one isn't, and you know, are they gonna start doing one where it's rain and fixed and rain like it feels like they could they could better sort of filter people into into races in that way. Yeah, I feel like it's. I guess they just don't want to have like low rank stuff be specifically like fixed or whatever. Um, okay, none of none of the races I can do this week have rain in them, so I can't get a <laughs> screenshot. What it looks like. <laughs> yeah, uh, I needed to buy Sebring. I should have been doing Sebring at Imza. That has lots of rain. We're doing a race um, next week, right? What's that? We doing? are, yes, we are doing Portimao in the LMP2. Yeah. Okay, it's not going to be never raining. Even heard there. of that track? Portugal. <laughs> yeah, Port uh -huh. Portimao. Yeah, they did F1 a few times there. It's a really cool track. Um, learning it is difficult though. I had to learn it in the rain in week 13 because it only just came out. But like every single corner is after the crest of a hill. And oh, if you go over the crest, some and elevation, then it's, do we? Nice. it's all it's like the most elevation track there is, I think. I like but, I like tracks like that. But it's it's always like I come over the crest of the hill and there's a corner right in front of me and I was supposed to be braking like twenty meters ago. It's just like you have oh, to like well, learn it. I haven't yeah. I haven't driven driven the track. I can't remember what it looks like from the Formula One times that okay. I went around it. So I, it's gonna be an interesting week for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck. You'll have to actually practice yeah just not <laughs> <laughs> um oh. all right let's let's uh quickly do our last few topics then because i need to go and do my actual stream mm -hmm. for today um nintendo shutting down uh the emulator for the switch I, and I, I understand a new one has come about and then that's gotten taken down because it had it was like a fork of the one that had already been taken down and stuff. Oh, so, um, okay. Th but there I are other ones that. out there. But yeah, it's just, uh, you know, Nintendo being Nintendo, I guess. Yeah. I think it's like once these emulators start making money, yeah. it's like have a Patreon and stuff, they, then they suddenly care. Yeah, Yuzu got shut down, and then someone made Sue Yu. That was it, yeah. Which is a fork of it, yeah, which is very funny. But then that got shut down, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, Nintendo just... On one hand, they're like... From one of their faces, they're like, emulators are evil and it's always piracy. And on the other face, they're like, oh, here's our virtual console stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's so honorable. It's like, why do you buy Nintendo online, apart from, like, being able to play online and to get all the emulators. Like, yeah. There's no other reason. Like, they're selling point. <laughs> that hasn't moved in a while. Did his face come free? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's all right. He's all right. Just look. Yeah, I'm too. sure he'll be able to... Um... There you go. He's moved. He's all right. He's all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, okay, he's, yeah. he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Speedrun Corner, we talked about you being at uh, Speedrun events. Um, oh, yeah. Do you have a specific story? Um, 
Yeah, I built a snowman for the first time ever. It was like, so the, it was. So I went to Norway for what was called the NSG, the Norway Speedrunner Gathering. It was uh, the first ever Norway Speedrun event. Um, yeah, I went there, and as soon as we turned up on the day, there was a snowstorm, and then our air our, our area that the event was hosted in lost power, which is quite oh, bad for God. a speedrunning event. Um. So when they lot, we were in, we had tons of tech issues. So we were already behind schedule at the very start. And it's only a weekend. So then the power went out. We got no idea how long the power's going to be out for. So I gather up a bunch of people and we start doing mobile versions of the speed runs. Oh, really? So we had the runner, Lord Moore, he, uh, his, his game was also on, he could play on Steam Deck. So he was doing his run on Steam Deck. Our, we had... We had uh, Ink Farer who had like a gimbal camera phone thing, like a stand with a gimbal on it. They were streaming to the channel on Twitch. Then I was holding the notes that the that Lawmore needed to do the run on a different phone. Then I had another phone that had the donation total written on it. <laughs> oh, I think I saw an image of this on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Nashlax had both of the chat rooms on his phones holding up. <laughs> Um, and we also had a tablet that was set to camera that was looking at Lormor's face. So Ink Ferris, the stream camera could look at the Steam stream a Steam Deck, and then see the tablet to see Lormor's face for the face <laughs> count. God, we basically just made this a, a speed run event overlay with phones. It was amazing. The jank, um, the jank stream. Yeah, <laughs> it was so good. We raised so much money. It was so funny. Everyone was everyone loved it. But yeah, it was like we had nothing. There was just power banks and mobile internet like, <laughs> you know we made it work it was a good laugh that's good um but yeah i was kneeling the entire time i was like like crouching like kneeling holding stuff oh, God. and then yeah then the day after in like 50 sorry half a meter deep snow i was building a snowman for the first time and also kneeling down and then I'm yeah, the day after never built a snowman everyone keeps saying that but it yeah. just doesn't snow here in the south it just doesn't right? happen huh like I've never been anywhere snowy like that. So, ah, interesting. Yeah, I built like a. Unfortunately, the snow was really powdery, and people were telling me that this is a terrible first snowman experience, and they were sorry. Ah, oh, okay. Like, I, 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 I made a ball and I rolled it, and just nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. So, I couldn't, I couldn't make it. Um, <clears throat> what? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. well, you were trying to draw attention to something. Uh, no, 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 no. At no, least it was no, just no, a, I... a clearing your throat. It wasn't anything worse. <laughs> yeah, no. I I am rather surprised that um that it was your first time building a snowman. But I am Scottish, so yeah, yeah. I do exactly. have I do have a bit of experience with snow. <laughs> um, if you want, bruv, I can go and get my uh, I can go and get my sunglasses. Um, if you check choke chat. Ah, oh, okay, yes, of course, yeah. Yes. Just I can be RDT oh, if you dear. want. It's probably um, it's probably a good thing to do, actually. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, the the, the way we fixed the schedule for that marathon was to just I was doing the last run and I wasn't flying until like the afternoon of the next day. So I just said to them, just push my run back, put everything in front of me, like that we missed, it'll be fine. So I ended up doing my run at three a.m. <laughs> oh wow. Which, yeah, but uh, we just went full meme with it. Like it was not serious at all. We were that's good having some was, fun with it. Yeah, it was it was a good way to end the marathon. We all had a good time. Uh, and yeah, then I, I flew back. On now. I flew back. Had the traditional Joshimus travel nightmare where every single train station I I had to do four connections, and every single train station I got to, all of the trains that went anywhere vaguely where I wanted to go were either delayed or cancelled, and everywhere else was fine. <laughs> so it took me oh, it took me eleven hours to get home, which was horrendous. That, that's horrific. <laughs> it was so horrible. You like, seem Norway... to always get this. Like you, you can't have yeah. flawless travel. <laughs> yep. It's like uh, planes landing in the snowstorm. Fine in Norway. I come home into the UK. Every single train just doesn't work. It's like, horrible. <laughs> I should have just drove. I really yeah. wish I had just driven. But, you know, I try to do the green thing or whatever and not just drive a car all the way over there and then back when I can take a train. And this is what I get. I never it. travel with Josh. Come yeah, I mean, yeah. I recommend it. It's I don't know why. 
I'm just not even surprised. I just turn up at a train station and I just hear the announcement that my train's delayed yeah. or cancelled. I'm just like, yep, standard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my, um, that's my travel story. There you go. All right. Well, is that um, it? What's this 0% thing? Yeah. So the uh, speedrun news, otherwise, um, Super Mario Maker, the original one, there was a big effort. So Nintendo was sort of shutting it down. They like, I think they half shut it down where you couldn't submit new Mario maps anymore to the to the to the servers. Oh, okay. But you could still you could still download and play other ones. Oh, okay. Um so there was a big effort in the speedrunning and challenge community to beat every single Mario Maker map before the server got shut down. Um so that's what the 0% is and they only they finally just now recently like yesterday beat every single Super Mario Maker map. That was that existed. Um, That's that. that feels not like... listening because he's wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm still listening. I'm, I'm messing okay. with Hammer's Hammer, but I'm still listening. Yeah. I'm, I was about to say that seems almost we impossible get, in a way. Added as a quote, yeah. I'm messing with Hammer's Hammer. I, <laughs> I wondered what was going on down there. <laughs> but yeah, it was a massive community effort. But unfortunately, as all speed running seems to center around nowadays, it's marred by cheating drama. No, of course. Because the very last map, which was a super difficult map that no one could beat, turns out because in order to submit a Mario Maker map, you have to beat the map yourself first before you're allowed to submit it to prove it's possible. Yeah, right? I was going to say like that was the worry that I had initially was that like are, sh are this surely some of them are like impossible or something like that. Yeah, there, there's a lot of hard ones, but you have to be like a really good player to yeah, make a yeah, hard yeah. one, right? So, but anyway, it turns out the last map to, that wasn't beaten. Uh, it turned out the person who submitted it cheated when they submitted it, so they didn't actually complete it. So it may actually have been impossible to beat it. So, but it did get the beat. community. No, the community decided to not count that one because it was ah, impossible. Okay. Like, and the person had admitted that they cheated, but they, but that person waited until it was the very last map left to beat before they were like, "Oh yeah, sorry, my bad, lol." Oh wow, well, I mean. It's... So, that's an idea. Yeah, so it, it like really spoiled the ending apparently because everyone was like hyped for this one last map and then actually no it doesn't count and we went straight to zero so Ugh. yeah bit of bit of cheating drama of someone of taking course. away but there, there always is yeah. with everything <laughs> yeah but yeah so yeah every Super Mario Maker map ever made was beaten by someone which is a cool that, achievement that is really cool that is impressive there must have been mm. how many did, how many were there. Is there a number? I have no idea. Must have been <laughs> a, a tens lot. of thousands, right? Yeah, like a lot. And to organize a community together to like actually go through and beat all of yeah, them. Yeah, like, like track everything. I don't know how you do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus. So I wonder what happened when Super Mario Maker 2 gets shut down because there's order of magnitude more maps there. Yeah. This is this is modern gaming. Things get shut down and can't be accessed anymore. <laughs> yeah. We should talk about uh, the thing uh was that guy a cursed farms or whatever do you know about that the no. guy who's trying to start a lawsuit against ubisoft for shutting down the crew oh yeah i heard about that yeah yeah because he like, was like he's you trying know, to that, make like they, they, he bought the game and there wasn't anything in marketing wise or information wise that hey eventually this is not going to be available to play mm -hmm. anymore like yeah, yeah, I think well, he's got hey, a decent guess what? case. It was in your EULA. So, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you scrolled through it. Yeah, like, <laughs> it still doesn't make it legal or whatever. I don't know. Ross Scott hates, like, dead games, like, get games being killed. It's, like, his pet peeve or whatever. So he's really, he's, like, really trying. This is, like, the first high-priority game that's been shut down. Yeah. Like this. So he's trying to, like, start a thing and stop this from happening. I don't know why they, they, we... like, why can't they just, you know, put in a, a update that allows you to play it offline like yeah you know, or, it's the least like, you can do if you're going to shut everything down you, to... it, or like you know quake is or fucking is still playable to this day just release the server code right yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah open source do something, whatever like, yeah, yeah yeah just like hey guys if you really want to play this game do it yourself here it is yeah yeah right? like, this, like and if nobody cares it doesn't happen and if people do care it does the problem solved yeah yeah Oh well. Yeah, I, I think did we did we mention on the podcast the the Take Two um, lawsuit that that Take Two had against them about uh, NBA Two K? 
No, I don't know about this. I don't think so. so. <clears throat> the uh, the community for um, well, some members of the the NBA two uh, K community um, took take two to court um, because they were shutting down one of the you know the NBA two K games come out like yearly, so they tend to like shut off one of the the previous ones, and those games are chalked full of microtransactions mm-hmm. like you you buy like a currency and then you can buy stuff for your character with the currency um and the argument was that like because because all of that was getting taken away like something monetarily was getting taken away from them um but take to their defense and they got away with this in the court case their defense was that the virtual currency only has a value placed on it by the uh, person selling it, i.e., the storefront, and the um, and the gamer, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Therefore, it can't have value. It's made up value. So we're we're uh. totally off the hook with that. And uh, yeah, they 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 said yeah, okay, yeah, I, we agree with that. So <laughs> so it's just yeah. worthless. Yeah, I it's mean, they're, worthless they're, and you shouldn't worthless. buy it. They're not worthless, they're not, and you definitely shouldn't buy it. Yeah, they're not wrong. It's just that you need to get everybody else to see that as well, because <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. there's no point to it. Stop buying it. <laughs> oh man, oh, modern sad. gaming, yay! Yeah, it's not. Yeah. We're not in a <laughs> not in a good oh, in a good space. All right, I think we'd better end it there then. I'm gonna go right on a high note. Stream. Yeah, yeah. On a high note. Yeah, always, always Woo. another high note. Yeah. <laughs> go play iRacing, racing. The rain's amazing. There you go. There's your high note. Yeah. <laughs> re 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 uh, re up your subscriptions if you've got a lap. Get back on mm. it. Try it out. It's great. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching us on another podcast episode. Hopefully, it's been enjoyable. We'll be back next month. Uh, will we be back next month? I'm doing a 24-hour race at the end of next month. Maybe I'll be doing a podcast from the track. I mean, I'll have the time. I don't know. I don't know yet. Are you doing All like a 24-hour? Your... I'm doing Wait, a 24-hour what? kart race. Oh, sick. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Have we not talked about it on the podcast? Okay. We'll have to. Maybe we'll talk about it either from there or like a week early or something if we do the <laughs> podcast on a different date. You're going to be dead. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's probably Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's. Fair. I mean, energy-wise, not you're going to die. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, uh, metaphorically, yeah, not, not literally. <laughs> All right, thank you for for watching, everybody. Do you want to say goodbye, guys? Bye. <laughs> See you all later, everybody. Bye. Bye.